Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to integrate Copilot with Velociraptor. So on my connectors page here, you'll see our Velociraptor uh, connection is indeed unverified. And if I go into update, you'll notice that this is a little different. Here we are asked to upload a YAML file. And Velociraptor's API connection does work a little differently than your standard API. Um, for this, we will actually jump onto our Velociraptor server and generate our api.config.yaml file. So on my Velociraptor server here, if I ls this out, you'll see that we have our Velociraptor binary, uh, which is what we grabbed when we first installed Velociraptor. We have our server config, which is also needed. And then we also need to make sure that we have a valid user that can already log on to Velociraptor. So if I go, for instance, to my Velociraptor server here, and here I'm just using the username as info at sockfortress.co. So if I go ahead and log in with this guy, um, we have logged into my app, we have logged into Velociraptor, and we see our two hosts here. We have our Wazoo Manager that we've deployed Velociraptor on, and then that we've deployed a Velociraptor agent on. And then we also have this Windows box that should be coming online here in a sec. I just turned it on. So, okay, yep, cool, there it is. So we've got two agents onto Velociraptor now. Let's go ahead and we've identified the username as well that we wanna use for the API user. And now what we're gonna go ahead and do is copy and paste uh, this command in here. Uh, I'll also paste this command in the description below so you guys can copy it. I'm gonna make a few, uh, I'm gonna make a few changes here. I'm gonna change this to be my name of info at sock fortress.co. So uh, the name again that I use to log into Velociraptor's web UI. And then I need to replace this Velociraptor here with the full binary name, uh, which is just this guy here. And this will be the same binary that you used when you first installed the Velociraptor server. So I'm going to go ahead and run this command. And oh, let me do a a slash there, and this is going to go ahead and create our api.config.yaml. And this is what we are going to upload into Copilot. And I can open this guy up real quick. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the connection string here. And this will be the host name and port of your Velociraptor server. So do make sure that if this is, if this is incorrect, to modify the host name or IP address, whatever you want to specify, uh, so that Copilot knows what server to connect to, and that's running Velociraptor's API. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and extract that file uh, from the Velociraptor server onto my local machine. So let me navigate into that directory uh, mount in this volume here. And yep, here we go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this over uh, to my local machine and then go back into Copilot, into Suck Fortress. And then here we have our api.config.yaml file. So I'll go ahead and upload that. I'll go ahead and select save. And now this is going to reach out and verify that we can indeed connect to our Velociraptor server. And if I go ahead and select verify, we see that our that Copilot is now indeed verified with Velociraptor. And another way to test as well, if I go into like artifacts, for example, this is interacting with Velociraptor's API to view all of the artifacts that are within Velociraptor. Uh, I could run a collection. And another thing as well, let's also sync up our agents. I'll get more onto this in future videos, but this agent page here is going to detail both our Wazoo agents and our Velociraptor agents. So a prerequisite prior to trying to run your agent sync is that to make sure that your Wazoo manager connection has been verified and that your Velociraptor connection has also been verified. So if I go into agents and then run the sync command here, you'll see that we have now synced the and pulled agents that are registered not only with Wazoo, but also within Velociraptor. And I could select this agent here. Uh, I'll go into vulnerabilities. So this is going to interact with the Wazoo Manager API to bring in all of the vulnerabilities that have been registered against this host. I could, let's run just a quick collection. Uh, let me just get the users. Uh, Windows, 
sys.users is the artifact name within Velociraptor. If I go ahead and submit this guy, this is now interacting with Velociraptor's API to run this artifact collection. And so now, and if I actually dip back into Velociraptor's web UI and select the agent that I just ran the artifact on, if I go into collected, here you'll see the job that we just ran directly from Copilot. So more to come on that in the future. Um, if you do have any issues with generating the api.config.yaml file, uh, just drop us a question in Discord. Again, do make sure that the host name in the YAML file is one that Copilot can actually resolve or that it points to the IP address that is running the Velociraptor server. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next one.